So for this video, we notice it's kind of loaded for the question. And so what I've underlined are the key points that we have to do. We're going to find the zeros, which we've already done, so that's the easy part, really. We're going to give the multiplicity for each one of those zeros that we find. And then we need to determine if it crosses or touches an axis and it, where it turns. So let's do the little baby steps. So there's basically three steps that we need to do. First, we need to find those zeros. So I'm going to plug in a zero for f of x and copy down everything that's on the right-hand side. And once I've done that, I want to get rid of that negative 4 because it's not helping me at all. So then I would have 0 equals what's left in my parentheses on both sides. So without that minus 4, it looks way easier to solve. So I set each one of them equal to 0. And then I'm going to solve them. Now the kind of cool thing about this one is, is to get rid of the squared, I would take the square root, but the square root of 0 is just 0. So I just have to set what's inside the parentheses equal to 0. Same thing over here, because this would be a cube root, but the cube root of 0 is still 0. So I'm going to get x equals negative 1 half, and then I get x equals 5. So now these are my zeros. So now that I have my zeros, I need to find the multiplicity. So when I'm doing the multiplicity, remember I need to go back and I need to look at what that original term was raised to. So if I look at the minus one half, it was originally raised to a two. So the multiplicity of negative one half will be two. For my five, I go back and look, it was raised to a three. So the multiplicity of five, the five zero is three. So we have our zeros and we have the multiplicity at each of those zeros. So the third part of the question wants us to know whether it crosses or touches the, an axis and how it turns or if it does. So what we need to look at is the m multiplicity, is it odd or is it even? So if I look at the minus one half, we said that its multiplicity is two and that's even. So now if it's even, what does that mean? Well, it means it's going to touch the x-axis and it's also going to do what? Well it's also going to turn around at this zero. So now for the other one we said 5 is 3 for its multiplicity which is odd. So now if it's odd it's going to only cross the x-axis. Sorry about that. So like I said, this is a loaded question. There are three distinctive parts to it, and all three are very important. 